Hello everyone, carbon on chemistry part 5, I will discuss generation of carbon on. and in the previous parts 1 to 4, you will get introductory idea of carbon on stability, hybridization structures and all these videos you will get in the carbon on chemistry playlist link which is given in the description box. So let's start. Generation methods for carbon on. so here we have total 4 methods, proton abstraction, then we have decarboxylation, addition of nucleophile to alkene and formation of organometallic compounds. Okay. So first there will be proton abstraction. This is very simple. So as it is proton abstraction, so obviously there should be some acidic hydrogen present in the starting material. So this acidic hydrogen that will be attached to carbon center so that after removal of this H negative charge is generated over the carbon. And obviously appropriate base is required so that the acidic hydrogen can be abstracted by heat and we will get the anion that is the anion that will be formed that is actually the carbon ion because the negative charge that will be over carbon. So here R part is basically there is a carbon and alkyl group and carbon is attached to hydrogen. So this is the general equation we have but actual examples we will take one by one. So the substrate may be ketone but the ketone there should be alpha hydrogen present because this hydrogen is acidic in nature because of this electron withdrawing C double bond O and here we have taken base NH2 minus. So this NH2 minus it will abstract proton from this any of these two hydrogen and there will be negative charge generation over this carbon. So starting material may be ketone. Next it may be ester also because ester this COOR group that is also electron withdrawing. So again we have taken NR2 minus in this case we have two hydrogen negative charge over nitrogen but two hydrogen is now replaced by two alkyl groups so this NR2 minus it will act as base and it will take proton from this uh, carbon and we will get carb anion then the starting material may be diester now when it is diester two ester groups are present both side and we have this methylene group CH2 so this hydrogen is very acidic because both side we have electron withdrawing group we have taken a base which is alkoxy type of base, RO minus, it may be MeO minus, ETO minus. So this base is abstracting hydrogen and we are getting carbon on here. The third type of starting material that we can take for the generation of carbon on is beta keto ester. So this is the ester group. With respect to this ester, this is alpha position, this is beta position. So beta position there is keto group, so that is why it is beta keto ester. Again, in presence of base, hydrogen will be removed and we will get negative charge over carbon. Then the fifth type is beta cyanoester. So we have cyano group. So in the previous uh, compound there is at beta position we have C double bond. Now we have the cyano group that is also electron withdrawing. So we will get negative charge over this carbon. Another type is nitro compound. So nitro group is electron withdrawing. So this alpha hydrogen that is the carbon which is just beside the NO2 group. This hydrogen is containing hydrogen and these are acidic in nature. So that is why in presence of base HO minus it will be abstracted. We will get negative charge over this carbon. So these methods under proton abstraction. Decarboxylation. Now in decarboxylation this is not very common but this is also one of the way by which carbon ion can be generated. So here starting material is carboxylate anion. This R group may be in the alkyl group. It may be pH also. So decarboxylation of this carboxylate. So this C double bond O, this part that will be removed in the, uh, in the form of CO2. So that is why it is decarboxylation. And rest of the part, there is CC bond. So there is negative charge over carbon. So that is why it is carbon ion. The third method addition of nucleophile. So nucleophile that is species containing negative charge or it may be uh, containing some lone pair. So this nucleophile will, nucleophile when it will be adding towards C double bond O or C triple bond C then also negative charge can be generated over carbon. Here we have taken this general structure of C double bond C and as if this Y minus is the nucleophile so when it is attacking any of this carbon here uh, both side which groups are present we do not know. In general I am just showing it. So negative charge will be generated over this left hand side carbon. Because CY bond is formed in the right hand side. 
Now actual examples if we take here Cn minus is the nucleophile. This is the nucleophile and we have Cc bond here. So this nucleophile it will attack here and negative charge will be generated over this carbon. Now this negative charge is very stable because of this electron withdrawing group Cn and see this negative charge resonance is also possible. So it will make uh, it will be forming C double bond C and negative charge over nitrogen. So this type of resonance is basically making this carbon ion more stable. So this is a way by which we can produce uh, carbon. Another example, now the CC double bond that we are talking about, where the nucleophile will attack, that may be a part of aromatic ring. So in aromatic ring, here the nucleophile is HO minus, it will attack this uh, carbon, which is, uh, that is CF bond, this carbon it will attack. So negative charge will be generated in any of these two positions. Now this negative charge, it is it will be stabilized by this type of resonance because NO2 group is present at, uh, that is with respect to F, it is present at 4 position. So this type of resonance is possible and ultimately this negative charge is stabilized. Okay. So this is the third method, addition of nucleophile to alkene. The next method, formation of organometallic compounds. Now organometallic compounds basically contain C, M, carbon metal bond. Now metal is obviously more electropositive. So if we consider polarization, that is the electron cloud, it will be closer towards carbon. So there is, if we consider the polarity, it will be like this, that is partial charge separation. And if you consider, if you fully break it, it will contain negative charge and metal will be positive. Now, which type of metals we can take? Metals such as Mg, Li, magnesium, lithium, sodium, potassium, zinc, aluminium, etc. It will react to it alkyl halide. So starting material, we can take alkyl halide under appropriate condition. It will be forming carbon metal bond where the carbon will contain negative charge and metal will contain the positive charge. So initially we will start from alkyl halide and in alkyl halide, if you consider polarization for this carbon halogen bond, obviously halogen is more electronegative. So partial charge separation will be like this. And if you fully break the bond, positive charge will be over carbon and negative charge over X, halogen. Now, once the organometallic, that is in presence of metal under appropriate condition, we are getting this organometallic compound. Now we have CM bond and there will be polarity reversal. So reversal of polarity will be there. Now carbon will carry negative charge and metal will be carrying the partial positive charge. And if we fully break the bond, it will be like this. So initially positive charge over carbon, but now there is negative charge over carbon. Now it is true that although carbon doesn't, doesn't carry full negative charge, full negative charge means we are already having as if the bond is completely broken. It is not that it is broken. So carbon doesn't carry full negative charge, but their behavior is just like carbon. Okay. So they will behave as if it is carbon. They can behave as a base as nucleophile. Okay, so that is why uh, this this is also a example of, an example of carbon. Now another method may also be there reaction of acetyl. So in acetyl, in the hydrogen is acidic in nature, and when we are reacting with sodium in liquid ammonia, then there is a formation of carbon sodium this type of bond where negative charge is over carbon and Na plus. Uh, that is positive charge over the metal. Okay, so this is another way we can make organometallic compound. Organometallic compounds we can generate not just by these two methods, you can also generate it from some other organometallic compound. So we will take one organometallic compound and another metal we will take so that there is a formation of different type of organometallic compound. We are starting from C triple bond C. And we have one hydrogen, obviously uh, this is required. Now we have taken the organometallic compound, ethyl magnesium bromide. Now this ethyl part that will be acting as carbon ion and it will act, it will capture this uh, hydrogen and it will form CST, CST that is ethane. So it is acting as base. So though there is not full negative charge, but its behavior is like carbon. Ion. So it is capturing this H and this positive part MgBr, now it is attached here. So this is our newly generated organometallic compound where we have carbon metal bond. 
Then we have started from PHLI which is organometallic compound and we have taken these two methylpyridine. So these hydrogens, any of these hydrogens that will be captured by this uh, C6H5 that is PH. Now PH that is the carbonon part because ultimately it is C metal. So this carbonon part it will capture proton from here ultimately it will be forming benzene and we will get a new organometallic compound where carbon lithium bond is present. Next example here we have pH 2 Hg and we are taking aluminium. Now this mercury that is now replaced by aluminium and the formula is pH 3 Al because valency is different so here the formula is pH 2 Hg now it is pH 3 Al but we are getting different organometallic compound right. Now this example a little bit different here we are starting from this C double bond C Br. Now this Br will be replaced by lithium as if it is halogen metal exchange right and C Br here also if you consider polarization carbon is uh, having del plus Br is del negative but after formation of Cli this is uh, forming carbon lithium. So here starting material uh, is containing carbon halogen bond but we are taking one organometallic compound which is this one CH3CH2O3L. So this carb, uh, here we have carbon metal bond but now we are getting different types of carbon metal bond which is carbon. Uh, this is also carbon lithium but this part is different right. Here it is CH3CH2O3 but now it is different and new alkyl halide is generated. Now if we want to know the percent ionic character that depends on how electropositive the metal. So here you can see here lithium which is more electropositive then gradually the electropositivity is decreasing. So when there is increase in electropositive character obviously the percent ionic character is also high. So the that is uh, the nucleophilic tendency or the carbonyl that will be generated from this its attacking tendency that is reactivity obviously it will be increased as we are moving towards this side okay so that's all about this video that is generation of carbonyl if you uh, find it helpful please like share and subscribe thank you for your time